The three-time world champion cut a lonely figure when we caught up with him training at his home in Simat near Eldoret Town, Wasingishu County. Asbel Kiprop is serving a provisional suspension of allegations of a failed dope test. This is where it all began. On the 27th of November 2017, his urine sample was collected by the doping control assistants. On the 3rd of February 2018, he was notified of an adverse analytical finding, AAF, in his urine sample. On the 20th of February 2018, his B sample analysis was sent to him confirming the AAF. On the 16th of March 2018, he was charged with violations of the IAAF anti-doping rules. You know, it caught me by shock because I couldn't imagine such a thing would happen to me as Pelki Pro because I've, uh, I couldn't imagine that one day, you know, there will be anything, I mean, to say that I tested positive of a pan substance. Asbel Kiprop has been charged with using the prohibited blood booster erythropotein, allegedly detected in his urine sample collected on the 27th of November 2018. EPO, as it is commonly known, is a recombinant DNA hormone that is almost a carbon copy of the human erythropotein produced naturally by the kidneys. It stimulates production of red blood cells. An injection of EPO, the only way to get it in your system, makes your body produce unnaturally high red blood cells, which increases your endurance. Could someone have injected Aspel Kiprop with the EPO without his knowledge? I told them I'm lucky because I've not had an injection of late. You know, the last injection was before traveling to Bahamas some years back for the wall relays. So I was still lucky and I'm still lucky up to now because I haven't had an injection. Supposing it was something taken through food or drinks, it would have been a different case. But uh, something is taken through injection, then, then it's, um, it's, it's quite, you know, it's, it's not possible, you know, that I've ever slept somewhere to, to, to be injected by somebody without knowing. When a urine sample is collected, there are various possible values for a test result. Negative to mean the analysis did not reveal a prohibited substance, AAF, which is adverse analytical finding, meaning a prohibited substance was found, and ATF, which is a typical finding, meaning further investigation is required, and the last value is not analyzed. Remember my sample uh, report, it says no result, you know, from the laboratory, from the Wada Adams report. So it gives me a no result value. And um, I'm being accused of adverse, an adverse analytical finding which is, you know, which brings a lot of, you know, questions also. The World Anti-Doping Agency ADAMS is the anti-doping administration and management system where all data for athletes is secured, including all the test results. The burden of proof is on Asbel to prove that he did not get an EPO injection. Very difficult to prove because it is his word against the Athletics Integrity Unit, which claims both his A and B samples are positive. <sighs> Proving his innocence is his greatest challenge. Innocence proves itself. You know, when someone is innocent, it's even seen, you know, out of action and out of um, action speaks more. So my campaigns, I've always done campaigns in fight against doping, even before my uh, allocation, even before being alleged to have uh, committed doping offence. One of the things he has had to fight over the last 10 months is stigma. His image in the eyes of the public and also among some of his fellow athletes has taken a huge dent. His disappointment is that he has already been crucified and sentenced before his case is concluded. Those who are close to you, you know, live by doubts again. They say when somebody else outside there asks them, do you think it, it does? Some say, I don't know. Look at that answer. I don't know. <sighs> Depression started creeping in. After the AIU notification in February and subsequent charge in March, Asbel Kiprop has had to defend himself in every corner, from people on social media networks to those who interact with him. His name is now associated with doping, a fact that is giving him sleepless nights. When you Google a name, Asbel Kiprop, you know, it's surrounded by doping, you know, doping, doping. It really hurts, you know, you don't sleep, you know, when you want to explain it to everyone. The road to the conclusion of this case is long. There are five stages before the case concludes. Stage one is a provisional suspension from all competitions. Stage two is pending fast instant cases. 
This is where Aspel is right now with the case before the IAAF Independent Disciplinary Tribunal. Stage 3 is the first instant decision where the panel is selected from 54 members from 34 countries to make a decision on a case. Stage 4 is pending appeals if any and stage 5 is the appeals decision. Asbel is confident that when the panel sits, they will clear his name. If you, you didn't do, you know, for my case I didn't do, okay? I do believe that one day there will be, you know, some answer to this. And, and not so, so, so far away, you know, so soon there should be an answer to this and I'll be able to res resume back to my career. He is back in training now, but before that, Asbel was caught up on the wrong side of fame when his videos and pictures in a compromising position with a woman went viral. When he asked him about it, Asbel admits to being depressed and exposing his vices to the world. Uh, I'd hoped to come out clear and confess my iniquity. The only, I think the only iniquity that Asbel brought by head um, was drinking and some kind of extramarital affair. And um, I had to come out clear and let it go so that, and, and, and then I confess, uh, so that I remain without anything to hinder me, you know, when I'm facing this um, kind of a challenge. He says that period cost him a lot and he decided to mend his ways. He has since quit alcohol and is back in serious training. Tomorrow we take you through the life of Asbel Kiprop's training regime as a suspended athlete who still has dreams to chase in athletics. Michael Kinyi for Citizen TV.